welcome back to my channel. My name's Rachel and this is Stitched Up. So today is going to be my Frugal Frocks 2021 challenge reveal and here she is. So this is the poppy dress that I told everybody that I was going to make when I made my plans for the Frugal Frocks challenge vlog back in early March I think it was and um yeah with all the choices out there you you really are spoiled for choice and this challenge has been incredible i'm sure you'll all agree there has been such a huge um uptake of people out there in the sewing community trying new patterns for the first time and you know i mean i've been sewing now for about six seven years and I'm always looking out for new patterns that are cheap and inexpensive because I'm a Yorkshire girl and that's what we're like up here. However, um, even I have been astounded by just the variety that's out there, which has just been incredible. And it's been amazing to have a look on Instagram and see everybody's choices that they've sewn up and there's just some fabulous outfits out there so if you are on instagram i would really urge you to go on and have a look and search the frugal Fox 2021 challenge i will leave the hashtag down below at the bottom of the screen now so you can go on there and have a look at everybody's entries and yeah it's just incredible it's been amazing an amazing way to bring everybody to get everybody together so if you have taken part i hope you've really enjoyed it and i hope it's really inspired you as well I think for me it's about sometimes you'll see a pattern on the internet that's a free pattern and you'll see the sample that's already been made up excuse piper in the background he's having a bit of a mad half hour um yeah so sometimes when you see the samples made up of free patterns they don't always inspire you straight away it might be the fabric that's not to your taste so sometimes it's difficult to envisage how it looks in a different fabric or something that you would choose yourself and I think this has been you know if you go and have a look on Instagram you will see you know there's there's literally hundreds of different dresses out there that people have made up from free patterns and it's just great but I'm here to tell you about my dress that I made and you will have to excuse me if you just start wobbling a little bit because I've got a 13 week old puppy that's just hovering around me at the minute and he's having a bit of a mad half hour Anyway, I made the poppy dress, which is a free pattern by Mood Patterns. And if you look at the Mood website, you will see that they have literally hundreds of free patterns. And every week they release usually at least one free pattern. The instructions aren't detailed. I will tell you that straight away. So if you are a, a beginner sewer or you've not had a lot of experience at, at dressmaking, then you might need something a little bit more detailed than what Mood offer. But if you have been sewing a while, you've made a few outfits, you know basic sewing techniques and how and how things are constructed, then you should be okay. But the poppy dress is a maxi dress essentially, and the sample on the Mood website, which I will put a little picture in here, is made out of the same fabric that I've made mine out of. And this fabric I've, been, I've had in my stash for about, two years now i think and i originally bought some of this fabric from boys which is my local little sort of um cheap home garden department store i guess and they have a dressmaking section and fabric section as well craft section that kind of thing so all sorts of stuff to be fair and i originally bought some of that fabric from there and i used it on a mccall's outfit that didn't fit properly and ended up donated then a couple of years ago, the Textile Brothers were selling this fabric, so I bought myself five meters of it. I love the design of it. I love cotton sateen anyway. It's easy to sew with and it really holds its shape. And I thought, you know, this fabric would be perfect for this dress because I knew that I had enough of it. I think on the instructions, it said it took about four meters, so three to four meters. And obviously I'm five foot ten, so knew that I would need the upper end of the suggested fabric length to be able to get this dress out of it so this was one of the fabrics that i had in my stash that fulfilled that requirement and i knew it would be perfect for this dress so the dress itself is a maxi length with a full button placket down the skirt it has a really plunging v-shaped neckline which actually plunges right to the waist 
Oh, do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello to everybody? You're getting a big, he's getting a really big boy now. Um, gay crashing my vlogs. So yes, this is Piper, our little mm. Vimarana. I know, I know, he's, he's absolutely gorgeous. He's absolutely gorgeous and totally stealing the show, I get it. Um, thank you, thank you. Can I have that back now? Thank you, good boy, you get down. So it, yeah, it has this really deep plunging neckline to the waist, which I was a little bit worried about. I know that it is a key feature of this dress, but how wearable is it? That's the thing. The other thing it has is really puff sleeves, which to get these sleeves to be dramatic and hold a shape, you do need a fabric like this that's quite structured, like a sateen or maybe a linen, something like that. Um, and then it has little cuffs on the sleeve as well and the bottom of the sleeve is just gathered into the cuff. It has um, a tie belt as you can see around the front and the belt itself, if I just turn it round, is actually sewn into the waist seam at the back. Now the instructions for that part of the construction of this dress is a little bit confusing and I ended up just doing my own thing and it, it works absolutely fine. Now, you will see from the pictures that I'm going to insert that it looks really lovely on. Now, I did modify the neckline and when I say modify that, all I did for the photographs was actually stick in a safety pin because there are no fastenings for this dress for the upper part of the bodice. It's just got a button fast fastening down the front, but the upper bodice has no zip in it at all. So the way you get it get in and out of it is obviously unbuttoning it and then this deep v neckline if i had stitched up the front neckline which i did originally think to do then i wouldn't have been able to get in or out of it and what i would have needed to have done really was to put a zip in the back or a side zip unfortunately i'd already constructed the dress by this point so there was no way i could then take it apart to put a zip in it so it meant that i had two options i could either use body tape They say you should never work with children and animals, don't they? Or I could put a hook and eye on the front. So the plan is, uh, well, the original plan was that I was going to use body tape to take the photograph so that you could see this dress as it is intended. However, this dress has pleats in the front bodice here where it actually attaches into the waist seam. And that obviously is to give, the, give you room for your bust but it also means that it gives you a little bit of extra room at the front neckline here. Now, to wear this dress and to be able to, for it to be wearable, this front neckline needs to be absolutely flush against your body. Because of this neckline, it means you can't wear a bra with it, which is fine for me because I don't have, you know, I don't have um, a very large chest anyway, and I can go braless. However, when you put this dress on, if you don't move in it, it's absolutely fine. But the minute you move, the minute you sit down, that kind of thing, then this starts gaping open and you're, and yeah, it's just not wearable. So I tried the body tape, but even the body tape, I still felt very exposed. And yeah, there is just no way, no way at all that I would wear it as it is intended. So the plan is that I am gonna put a hook and eye on here. For the photographs, I just use a safety pin just to see how that would look. And it looks fine and I felt more, covered up obviously I felt more comfortable with it and it's a dress that I will wear so yeah I'm going to put a hook and eye on there probably about this sort of height here, here which is where I put the safety pin for the photos and I think that will work really well because it means I can obviously close it when I um, want to wear it and then for you know taking it on and off it's easy to undo isn't it yeah i'm a little bit disappointed in it i will say because i just think it's a great design you know from a from a sort of from a design perspective it looks amazing on the photographs and you know on the website how 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 it looks on the mannequin but actually in real life it's just not wearable as as it is intended and i think sometimes that's the problem with some designs that look a bit out there that they um they look great in still photographs don't they but actually how wearable are these things so a little bit disappointing but i can rectify it to make it wearable which is fantastic so i have really enjoyed making it it's the first mood pattern that i have ever made sizing wise i think i went for a size eight 
bodice and graded to a 10 waist, 10 hip, I think it is. And the skirt is very fitted over my hips. Just excuse me, I need to change the battery. So the skirt is very fitted over the hips, which is fine. It's more like an A-line shape, which I love that shape on me. I'm pear-shaped and I just think that suits my figure really well. And um, yeah, I added nothing to the length whatsoever. I, in fact, I added nothing to this dress. I didn't need to adapt it in any way at all. Normally with dresses, I tend to add about an inch onto the bodice, but I didn't with this dress, I didn't need to, and it fits me absolutely fine. So that was my frugal frock. It was a difficult choice, to be honest, because there are so many outfits out there. There are so many dresses out there, dress patterns that I want to make. And it's really opened my eyes as to, you know, what, what patterns you can get either free or really, really cheaply, which leads me on to the dress that I'm wearing. Now, this is, I would say, my semi-frugal frock that I made in March as well that I thought I would tell you about as part of this vlog. Now, I haven't entered this dress into the challenge because it doesn't quite fit the bill in the fact that the pattern was not completely free and the fabric, I actually only bought it a couple of weeks ago. So I can't really say that it was fabric that was just languishing in my stash. This fabric is a beautiful viscose fabric that I got from the textile centre and I think I bought probably the last four or five metres of it but if there is any left I'll leave a link to it down below. It's navy blue with a blush pink spot and it's beautiful, really nice, lovely weight, very drapey, very soft and fluid and gorgeous and this pattern is actually a Russian pattern so those of you that watched my last vlog which was my sort of um, first foray into Russian patterns. And doing some research on Russian pattern companies just really opened my eyes to actually how inexpensive they are. And I was absolutely blown away by some of the designs that are out there and just how cheap those, those patterns are. And they are, I would class as almost free. So this pattern is from a pattern company called patterneasy.com and they are a Russian pattern company I'll leave the link down below for you and they do patterns and instructions in English which is just fantastic. So this pattern is the Lisa dress and when I researched that website there are loads of patterns on there that I absolutely love and I think I've bought about eight already. This pattern I think cost me about £1.20 something like that so it was you know it's it's not a lot is it and um yeah, I, the good thing about these patterns as well is that they, you can choose the size range that you're in as well for, for your height, not just your, um, not just the sort of dress size that you are, but also what height you are so that you just purchase the, the actual size that you need. Now, it's not great if you obviously span a number of sizes, but dependent on the design that you choose, and the amount of ease that's in a pattern, you know, I mean, my I tend to span two or three different sizes from my chest to my hips, but this dress I got in one size and it fits me absolutely perfectly. So it's, it's great for that. And if you're tall like me and normally have to add length to every pattern that you buy, whether it's a big four pattern or an indie pattern, it's fantastic to be able to buy a pattern that is drafted for the height range that I fall into and that I don't need to alter at all. So I'm gonna move the mannequin out of the way and then I'm gonna show you my Lisa dress. Right, so the Lisa dress is a wrap dress with flounces all over it. And the wrap comes over the front and you've got obviously a little tie which ties through the wrap that's underneath. It ties through the side of the side seam here all the way around your back and then ties at the front, which is lovely. You've got this gorgeous neckline flounce, which comes from the front wrap all the way round the back and plunges into this deep V at the back. Hopefully you can see the wrap, um, the flounce there, and then all the way back 
to the front bodice so this neckline is just stunning again it's quite plunging i've got this on just with a little bralette at the moment which is just peeping out a little bit but it's nowhere near plunging like the poppy dress so you know this is is lovely on me i love this deep neckline i think it's beautiful i love this flounce i have just done a rolled hem on this flounce all the way around and um it's joined at the back in the center there so the skirt portion of this dress has a full wrap as you can see here and it's quite you know the wrap is is really lovely it wraps you know there's no way a lot of wrap dresses don't have like a full wrap but this is an amazing wrap because um, you've got loads of coverage which is just amazing and the it all the wrap also has a flounce that comes from the waist here and goes all the way down at the front of the front wrap all the way all the way around the bottom of the dress and up the other side underneath which is just lovely i just think this style is beautiful it's really romantic it's really really summery and this sewed together absolutely amazingly now again the instructions for these patterns are very very brief and you would not be able to put this together if you had never put a wrap together before the neckline is all done with self bias binding excuse the uh, the chest shot there but um just to show you that so it's it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it. I really, really love it. of this dress so you can have a bit more of an idea of how it looks but it's it's just absolutely beautiful and i love it and i'm definitely definitely going to make some more of these for summer i just think they're perfect for summer that's the signal that i need to take piper out so that's it from me today i hope you really enjoyed having a look at my frugal frocks i hope you will go check out all the other vloggers that are uploading their frugal frocks reveals as well so take care of yourselves and i'll be back with you really soon bye